Hello YouTube. After my wife purchased this generator, um, I looked on YouTube to see how to put it together. And after seeing a bunch of lame videos, I decided, hey, I can make a lame video and put it together too. So the first thing you have to know about this thing is that it, it is extremely heavy. I don't see a weight on there. I'm sure it's there somewhere, but this thing has got to weigh close to 200 pounds. And that's without gas or anything in it, obviously. So the first trick is how do you get it out of your car? And what we did is extremely silly, but it worked. We, we sort of uh, went back and forth, got it out, and we had this piano bench. And we put it on the piano bench, and then we lowered the piano bench. And then we found something slightly shorter than that. And we slid it onto that, and then we went back and forth, and we finally got it onto the ground. And then, just today, that was like two months ago, and then just today, I it was still in there. So I, I slowly tipped this over onto its side, slid this baby out, and then put this upright again, the thinking being not that we're going to put it back in there, but that we could at least use this box to cover it in the winter or whatever when it's not being used. So this is apparently the handle. <laughs> this is kind of hilarious. The sum total of instructions of how to assemble it is right there. So it shouldn't be that hard, but let's just see for real how it is. So I've taken the pieces out and there's two tires. And then this is the rest of the stuff. And unfortunately you need like metric hex something wrenches and whatever, which I don't know if we have, hopefully we do. But, so let's get this uh, put together. So the first thing we're going to do is this first step, which is actually number two. Number one is just showing us where all the stuff is. So we've determined that what we need for each leg or foot is this thing, this thing, one of these, no, not one of those, one of these, and then one of these, and one of those. So that's what you need for each one. Two of those big ones? Yes, because you have to do one on each one. Huh, that's weird because there's only two of them. There's four of these, but those, I thought you said. So you need one on each side. Right, so you can't use these because these are two, there's only two of them that come with it. So it must be these. All right, slight revision. So this is the lineup of what is needed. And uh, we're gonna do that right now. Pre-assembling. But how are you supposed to get that socket in there? You're going to need an awful skinny. That goes in the underside. There, that looks tight enough. No, Just okay. kidding. All you really need to do, after you stick this thing in, you don't have to like hold it. All you have to do is use a socket wrench or adjustable whatever wrench and just tighten that it's quite easy now we're going to do the other one so as it turns out you may need to hold this with like needle nose but it's not you can sort of hold it with your finger as you turn this but if you need do need to you can put needle nose if you have two people and it kind of works better but it as long as it's relatively tight i'm sure it'll be fine so what we're going to do now the... with a pre-assembly is we're going to just tip this up and we're going to put this right under there so like that. Minute. These two must go those. So these, these little guys here are going to go on there. There's four of these. There's four of those. While we were away, I tipped this up and my beautiful assistant put the uh, thing under there and now we're just hand tightening these. Then we're going to do the other side before we fully tighten them just so there's no obtrusiveness. Not quite the right word, but. So 
So we just uh, rock the other side up and tighten these plastic to keep it all in pristine condition. And now I'm just going to tighten these. Hopefully you can see me. Not that any person with half a brain can't figure this out, but you basically, I'm just holding it with that one and then turning it with this one. And I don't you know. And you have to do it super tight or not. Now we have successfully attached these feet or legs. Your choice. I think they're probably more like feet. Next, we're going to put the wheels on. Step three. So for this, we need the cotter pins. And then these guys, right? Yep, and... And then these two big washers. Let's go for it. Please take note, the picture on here shows like this five spoke thing on the outside and you can see through it, but it's not at all reality because reality is it's like a smooth thing like that, which goes on the outside. Don't be fooled. All right, ready? Yep. So we put in the uh, axle, whatever you want to call it. Stick it through. Hi. Hello. Mailman delivering us mail. Look at this. Is and that you put in that. And do you just push it straight down? Yeah. Well, you push it in and then you have to bend it out. I go straight down? Well, yeah. So you put the cotter pin through and then we'll bend that okay. in a minute after we put you the other you bend it. You bend it out. That's what cotter pins do. Well, where does it show that you bend it? Well, everybody knows you bend it, so I can All right. All right. So now, after you put this in, obviously, then you just gotta bend that just like a regular old cotter pin. 20 minutes later, just kidding, an hour. <laughs> it's a little just tricky to reach in there, but it can be done with needle nose pliers. Now we are going to put the handle on. Extremely easy. Famous last words we need. So this is like so simple, it's pitiful. So we're just gonna stick that in there and then we're gonna put the bolts through and tighten them up. Then there's a little safety thing here that you slide through there and it stops it from moving. So the only washers that come with us are little plastic ones and you can see where they go in between there and there. Those are on, and now I'm just going to tighten them down. And also, even though it says it needs metric, you can use imperial or inches. I think it says half inch there. So no need to run out and buy a new socket kit. So there's some debate, and there's no clear answers about where because there's holes here and there's a hole here, which we put it through. And then there's two holes there because there's this thing and it doesn't really seem to do a whole lot of good. If you put it up and you put that thing in, it stops it from going down, but it kind of just seems silly. Then of course, there's a plastic thing over the air filter. It comes with oil. I was gonna run out and buy oil, but it comes with it in that box. And then we just put the gas in and wait for the power to go out. <laughs> 